Welcome boys and girls. This is Miss Breanne and welcome back to the preschool story hour with Miss Breanne. And this is the preschool story time sessions that take place in the afternoon. So the boys and girls who go to school in the morning can join us for a story time session. Now I always run by a different, we meet three day times a month and we always have a different theme each month. And for the theme for April, the theme is spring. So we're going to be reading stories and doing all these cool crafts based on the season of spring. And spring is like rainbows and flowers and sunshine, sometimes rain, and plants. But before we go all that, we are going to start with our welcome song, The More We Get Together. Now the welcome song was provided is from the Very Ready Reading Program, which is created by Upstart. So please follow along on your song sheets. And is everybody ready? And you know the drill. I sing first, and then all my friends sing along with me. So we ready? Here we go. The more we get together. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Everybody, the more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. All right, good job boys and girls. So as I mentioned before, the, see the theme for the month of April is spring. And it involves a lot of the things I talk talking about. Now we have some books to read, and here are all our books. The one we're going to read throughout the whole month of April is Planting a Rainbow. And the one we're going to read for this week is Mouse's First Spring. Fun, huh? So before we go on to our first book, we're going to sing a, uh, one of our regular songs about spring for the month of April. Now the spring songs that are in your song sheet are from the websites No Time for Flashcards and Preschool Education. So if you're interested in these songs as well as others, please click on the video links in this description or the website links in the video description. But here we go. Next song, Planting Flowers. Please follow along. Are we ready? Here we go. Planting flowers, planting flowers in the ground, in the ground. Water them and they will grow, water them and they will grow all around, all around. All right, everybody. Planting flowers, planting flowers in the ground. In the ground, water them and they will grow, water them and they will grow all around, all around. All right, good job, boys and girls. So we're, we're going to start our first story, but before we do that, I am going to zoom in a little bit so you can see all the fun puppets and pictures that I'm going to show you with the story. So give me two seconds. Let's see if this works. All right, I'm just going to move that camera down just a teeny tiny bit. Just so you can see. That should do it. There we go. All right, so we're going to start with our first book today. And that book is 
planting a rainbow. So, planting a rainbow. The author and illustrator is Lois Ellert. Now, the author is the person who writes the words to the story. And the illustrator is the person who draws the pictures of the story. Now, Lois Heller did both of these. And the publisher is Harcourt Inc. And the publisher is the company that puts the book into print and puts it all together and sends it to the bookstores to sell. But in any event, are we ready to begin? All right, here we go. Every year, Mom and I plant a rainbow. Look at all those colors. Isn't that pretty? How do you plant a rainbow? How would they plant a rainbow? Well, let's see. In the fall, we buy some bulbs and plant them in the ground. We order seeds from catalogs and wait all winter long. So it looks like it may be a rainbow, right? Probably a rainbow of pretty flowers and plants. What do you think, boys and girls? Well, let's find out what happens. So we order seeds from catalogs and wait all winter long for spring to warm the soil and sprout the bulbs. So it looks like when spring is here, the, all those bulbs that they planted start to grow. Isn't that cool? Well, let's see what else happens. Then it's time to go to the garden center to select some seedlings. And they're just little itty bitty plants that are just starting to grow. And they usually start to grow in a flower pot. But when they get, but pretty soon they'll be too big for the flower pot. So that's when you plant them in the ground. So seedlings. We sow the seeds and plant and set out the plants in the soil. Oh, this is going to be a pretty garden, huh? Let's see what happens and watch the rainbow grow. and grow and grow so it's going to be a nice garden full of flowers huh well let's see what type of flowers we have huh ready boys and girls we have some red flowers this is a tool. Can you guess what this is, boys and girls? This is a tulip. And, a tu and tulips can be red. And you'll be making tulips for your craft today or your activity. And orange flowers. What do you think this flower is, boys and girls? Not sure if you know it. Well, this flower is called a poppy. And we don't really have poppies here. 
They're usually in California. But they are pretty. And some yellow blooms. What do you think this flower is, boys and girls? Well, it may not look like it from the front, but it is called a daffodil. And daffodils are yellow. We grow something green. Now, I tried to do this best I can. It was a little bit tricky. But this is what we call a fern. And ferns are just like almost like fuzzy, leafy plants. And they don't really have flowers on them. And some blue flowers. What do you think this flower is? Well, this flower is called a morning glory. And some purple flowers too. What do you think this flower is? Well, this flower is called a pansy. Pretty, huh? All summer long, we pick them and bring them home. So it's a rainbow, all right? A rainbow of pretty flowers. And it can last through the whole summer. And when summer is over, we know we can grow our rainbow again next year. And that is the end of the story. What did you think, boys and girls? Did you like that story? Well, there's a good lesson in this. You don't have to keep looking for a rainbow. If you have just the right plants and you love to garden, you can create your very own rainbow. A rainbow of pretty flowers. And isn't that great? Well, I certainly hope you enjoyed the story. We'll move on to our next one in a minute. But first, we're going to sing our other regular song for the month of April. And it's not actually a song, it's a chant. And it's called, One Potato, Two Potato. So, please follow along on your song sheet. So, are we ready? Here we go. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Five potato, six potato, seven potato, more. Got it, boys and girls? You ready to sing chants along with me? All right, here we go. One potato, two potato, three potato, four, five potato, six potato, seven potato, more. All right, one more time, and we're going to go a little bit faster, okay? So, we ready? Here we go. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Five potato, six potato, seven potato, more. All right, good job, boys and girls. So, we're about to introduce our next story. But before we do that, we got another springtime song for you. And this is a new one. It is called... It is springtime. And you know the drill, boys and girls. So, are we ready? Follow along on your song sheets now. Here we go. It 
is springtime, it is springtime, winter's gone, winter's gone, summertime is coming, summertime is coming, it won't be long, it won't be long. All right, everybody, it is springtime, it is springtime, winter's gone, winter's gone. Summertime is coming, summertime is coming, it won't be long, it won't be long. All right, good job, boys and girls. Give me two seconds. All right, so. Again, so we're going to introduce our next book. And our next book is called Mouse's First Spring. We're going to use some puppets for this too. All right. So, Mouse's First Spring. The author is Lauren Thompson. The illustrator is Bucket Erdogan. I hope I pronounced that right. If I didn't, I'm sorry. And the publisher is Simon & Schuster Books for Young Readers, which is an imprint of Simon & Schuster Children's Publishing Division. So, are we ready? Okay. Here we go. One windy spring day, Mouse and Mama went out to play. So it's a nice warm day, right? Would you like to go outside and play? Well, that's what Mouse and Mama are doing. It's a nice day outside, so they're going to go outside and enjoy it. So let's continue. There, in the grass, Mouse found something glittery and flittery. What can it be? wondered Mouse. What do you think it is, boys and girls? Do you want to take a guess? What is glittery and flittery? What do you think? Well, let's find out. <gasps> Look! said Mama. A butterfly! Look at the butterfly flying. Pretty, huh? Then, whoosh, blew the wind, and fluttery butterly, the butterfly flew away. Do you think they'll see something else, or do you think the butterfly will come back? Well, why don't we read to find out? Then, under a leaf, Mouse found something slithery and slimy. What can it be? wondered Mouse. What do you think's underneath the leaf? What do you think is slithery and slimy? Is it a worm? Could it be something else? What do you think? <gasps> Look, said Mama. A snail. Look at that. It's a snail underneath that rock. I think the snail will stay. Or do you think the snail will go away like the butterfly did? 
Well, let's find out. Then, whoosh, blew the wind, and Heidi and Sidey, the snail, hid away. Oh, the snail didn't like the wind. Do you think they'll find other friends? Hmm? While we read to find out, there, on a branch, Mouse found something feathery and plump. What can it be? wondered Mouse. What do you think it is, boys and girls? On a, who lives on a tree branch? Mama, a bird. Yes, I know it's a duck, boys and girls. It was the closest thing I could find to a bird, but pretend it's a bird, okay? But we got a bird in the tree. Think the bird will stay? Well, let's see. Then, whoosh, blew the wind, and dip, flip, flap, the bird darted away. All right. Let's see what else they, who else they meet. There, by the pond, Mouse found something green and peeping. What can it be? wondered Mouse. Oh, what do you think it is, boys and girls? What lives in a pond? Look, said Mama. A frog! Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. I think you know where this is going, boys and girls. Do you think the frog will stay? Well, let's see. Then whoosh, blew the wind, and splishy splash, the frog hopped away. Oh, it looks like the frog is gone now. Ooh, let's see what else happens. There, in the dirt, Mouse found something pink and wiggly. Can it be? wandered Mouse. What do you think it is, boys and girls? What lives in the dirt? Well, let's find out. <gasps> Look, said Mama. Yeah, I know it looks more like a caterpillar than a little worm, but let's pretend it's an earthworm. We got a worm. I think we know where this is going. Then, whoosh, blew the wind. Squiggly squeeze, the worm slid away. Ooh. Looks like everybody's leaving, huh? Let's see what else happens. Then, there on the stem, Mouse found something sweet and peddly. What can it be? wandered Mouse. What do you think it is, boys and girls? Look, said Mama. Pretty flower, huh? Let's see what happens. Then, whoosh, blew the wind, and rumpily bumpily, Mouse tumbled away. Ooh, the wind blew Mouse away. What do you think's gonna happen? Well, let's see. Then, 
all around. Mouse found something soft and cuddly and oh so cozy. What can it be? wondered Mouse. What do you think it is, boys and girls? Smooch! Came a kiss and ooch! Came a hug. It's me! said Mama. Aww. Spring is here, little mouse, and I love you. And that is the end of the story. So I hope you had fun with the story, boys and girls. Did you enjoy it? And wasn't it nice to see all the little creatures in the springtime? Alright, so now we are going to move on to our activity. So did you remember this flower from what I showed you in Mouse's first spring? Well, you are going to be making these today. And you're going to be making three of them. And I'm going to go over step by step on how to complete this. And when it's done, you're going to have a bouquet of three flowers, almost like a rainbow, right? Which you can keep or give to somebody you care about. Doesn't that sound great? All right, so are we ready? Now, before I start, I'm just going to tell you the craft that I'm showing you today is a modified combination of proactive crafts from the websites All Done Monkey and Glued to My Crafts. So if you're interested in this craft as well as other spring crafts, please click on the following web links in this video description. So, what you should have got, you should have received your kit right before the program if you registered. And in your kit, you should have had three plain popsicle sticks, six leaves, and one tulip shape in purple, red, and yellow. And in addition to those, you should also provide for yourself a green marker and some glue. Now, if you need to, to stop the video in order to catch up, please feel free to pause this video. It is a pre-recorded program, so you can take all the time you need to complete this. But in any event, are we ready to begin? All right, here we go. So you're going to take your popsicle stick, you're going to take your green marker, and you're going to color in your popsicle stick, like so. And you're going to do this for all three popsicle sticks. So you're going to color the front, you're going to color the front, and you're going to color the back. And you just keep doing that until you are finished. And you can also use crayon if you don't have a marker for this. And you're going to do this with all three of your popsicle sticks. So let's, I'm going to wait a minute before we move on to the next step. And I have my three sticks already colored in, like so. So I'll give you boys and girls a minute. All right, but like I said, if you need more time, you can always pause the video. But are we ready for the next step? For the next step, 
we are going to take two leaves. We're going to apply a little bit of glue at the bottom of the leaf, like so. One for each leaf. And we're going to put it anywhere you like on your popsicle stick. So here's one, and here's two. There we go. And you're going to do this for all, with all three of your popsicle sticks. So glue on the bottom, like this. And just, to pl just glue on. There's two. Then got two more. Right here. I got one more to glue. There we go. So now I have all three of my all the leaves glued onto my three popsicle sticks. Give you one minute. All right, and then lastly, we're going to take a tool of flour, put a little bit of glue at the center on the bottom, like this, and we're going to put it at the very top of our popsicle stick. Like that. Cool, huh? And you're going to repeat that with each tool of flour. So, glue on the bottom. And put it on the top of your popsicle stick. That's two. Got one more. And three. All right. So that's how you put together your paper and popsicle stick tulips. Now if you need more time, please feel free to pause this video. Well, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And now we're going to sing our next song. And our so the next song I'm going to teach you is called Spring, Spring, Spring. So, are we ready? Here we go. Spring, Spring, Spring. I love... Wait, wait, let me try that again. Oh, are we ready? Let's follow along. Here we go. Spring, Spring, Spring. Spring, 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 I love spring, I love spring, I love the way the flowers grow, tulips, daffodils all in a row, oh so pretty, I want you to know that I love spring, I love spring. Alright, are you ready to join me boys and girls? Alright, here we go. Spring, 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 spring. I love spring, I love spring. I love the way the flowers grow, tulips, daffodils all in a row. Oh, so pretty, I want you to know that I love spring. I love spring. All right, good job, boys and girls. I hope you had fun today. I certainly had fun, boys and girls. But sadly, it is ta it's that time where we have to say goodbye. 
So please tune in next week for another story time. But until then, let's end today with our goodbye song. Now the goodbye song is provided from the website Literary Hoots. So if you're interested in this song as well as other hello and goodbye songs, please click on the web link in this video description. But are we ready boys and girls? Please follow along on your song sheets. Here we go. Hands go up, hands go down. I can turn round and round. I can jump up on two shoes. I can clap and so can you. I can wave, I'll show you how. Story time is done for now. Everybody, hands go up, hands go down. I can turn round and round. I can jump up on two shoes. I can clap and so can you. I can wave, I'll show you how. Story time is done for now. Thank you so much for joining me, boys and girls. You have a great week, okay? I will see you next week.